Hi there. We're here with Aldo Martinez, and he's the president of Las Vegas Realtors. And we're talking about the housing market here in Southern Nevada through May. So Aldo, we just turned out the housing stats for the month of May. And what jumped out at you? Are we still setting records for home prices? Yeah, it just keeps going and going. So uh, 385 is now the new median price in Las Vegas. Uh, that's up another $10,000 from the month before. Uh, and you know we're still absorbing the same amount of properties that we put on the market. Give us a little more historical perspective on these prices and how they've gone up and how much they've gone up in in uh, any period of time. Yeah, so when you look back to you know our great, uh, what we would call the re our recession, right, of 2008. So from that period, when you looked at home prices, they were probably going up 1%, 2%, you know, way below inflationary rates. So if you draw a straight line that goes from 2008 to 2021 and what the prices are doing, they are right on pace to where they should have been if we had been increasing 3 4 or 5% year over year, which is a normal healthy increase in, in real estate values. Well, talk to us a little bit about how many homes are changing hands, how many sales we're having, and if they're up or not. Yeah, so, oh yeah, I mean, we're, we had 4,100 total sales that happened, right? So about 3,800 of those were single family residentials and about another 900 uh, of those were uh, condo con uh, projects. The condos are selling still probably about the same pace, but you're seeing a lot of uh, owners, uh, occupants trying to buy into it because that's now the new affordable market. So among these sales, we're seeing a lot of the buyers, uh, again, become cash buyers. Um, tell us a little bit about what's going on, who these people or entities are that yeah. are paying cash for all, all of our homes here. So, you know, cash buyers is a creative form now of purchasing. So some buyers that are trying to buy a home to, look, to live in are looking for alternative ways and companies that can actually present them as a cash uh, purchaser. But what I have noticed is that we do have some major players in the marketplace right now that are absorbing a boatload. We're not a boatload, but still, if they're absorbing each about 200 properties a month uh, into the uh, 250 to 400 range, which only holds about 800 units right now. So if a consumer was trying to buy a 250 to $400,000 home, there's only 800 options, and they're getting absorbed by these investors at a, at a click of a 200 per investor, and there's about three major players in there right now. There's not a whole lot left for them. Um, to look at. So that's a, that's becoming a big challenge. So we're seeing more challenges for the entry level home buyer and the first time home buyer. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, Goldman Sachs did an article that they're basically pouring money into small, that they call small investors at $300 million, right? So how small is that? To buy up rental inventory. And you saw uh, Rent America do that last year moving in. You're seeing builders now even building homes to rent right off the bat, because the thought process is that as the prices continue to go up, once we get over 400,000, we've outpriced the median income in the valley. So a buyer will not be able to buy a home. They're going to have to settle for renting homes. So that's what they're banking on. And this isn't gonna get resolved within the next 12 months, you know, 24 months. We're looking at prices holding like this for two to four years. Wow. So Talk to us a little bit about that housing supply that's been so tight lately. How many homes are really available on the market and if there's any bright spot to be found there? You know, the bright spot is that every single month since January, we've been putting more and more and more and more properties on the market. So that's the bright spot, up to about 3,700 new single family listings this month that went on the market. Um, the absorption rate is also keeping pace. That's the problem. It's not a lack of inventory. It's we're just absorbing whatever gets put on the marketplace. There's an excess of about 200 properties every month. So that's showing that our inventory is increasing, you know, about 100, 200 every month, which is not a lot, but it shows you that people are still, you know, going out there and selling and people are still absorbing and buying those properties. The other trend that we oh. talked about lately was how fast homes are selling. Mm -hmm it's maybe as fast as they've ever sold here yeah. in Southern Nevada, right? Well, it's just like go back to 2004, five and six, we were waiting in the back seat of, you know, on the driveway with our paperwork on the trunk of a car to get it signed, right? So it's no different. I mean, our agents are experienced in this. Um, right. the, you know, it's, Vegas is, if it sits on the market more than 14 days, people are hyperventilating, right? They're, they're thinking the market's about ready to crash. Are there any other trends that we should know about or any other points that you wanna make? No, I just say, you know, if you really want a home and you're out there working, get yourself with a great realtor. Um, they can really help you in that process. Don't wait for the market to crash because you're going to be renting. Okay. And you need to look at that as a, as a potential reality. Uh, when smart money from Wall Street starts pouring into a certain area, they know more than we do. Right. So um, get out there, make your purchases today and uh, sit fast 
it's going to be a good, uh, a good few, few years for real estate. That's a great point, Aldo. Thank you for your time today.